jananam sukadham maranam karuna milanam maduram smaranam Sakalam karunam Samayadipate Akilam karunam Namaskaram. Good morning everyone. Sadhguru, a, a very warm welcome to you and we are told uh, that this is your first physical interaction of this kind after <laughs> yes. a, a painful 12 months of this pandemic, so it's a great honor for us to have you here uh, on India Today. Uh, there are very many issues that we'd like to speak to you about and uh, uh, I, I'm going to admit right at the start that Given the limited time we have, I had to do an elimination process of the things that I really wanted to ask and the things I possibly couldn't ask because of time. But I'd like to start, Sadhguru, by asking you about the journey you made during the pandemic in the United States amidst this historic challenge that faces the world. You were out there, you were on the road, uh, meeting people, meeting communities. Tell us what that was like, because this was at a time when the world was in lockdown. What made you go out there under all these conditions and get out onto your motorcycle and out onto the road? See, it's almost uh, twenty years ago when I had a certain encounter with a, a Native American being or a person in a certain way. Uh, what I saw there, what was happening with that life probably is one of the most painful moments of my life, the way it was that person's life. So since then I've been trying to find out more about them and do all that. As a part of this, I decided to set up the Isha Institute of Inner Sciences in Tennessee at the head of what is called as the Trail of Tears. There's a very uh, a tragic event that happened when the Cherokee tribes were removed from Tennessee to Oklahoma, where thousands of people died in the cold, men, women and children, because they were made to walk in winter without footwear, without anything, they were just rounded up suddenly and made to do this. So I set up the institution at the head of Trail of Tears and we've been doing a lot of work to mitigate this situation. But it is later that I realized that there were or there still are f over five hundred Native American nations within the United States. Most people are not aware of this. And these five hundred nations have five hundred different languages, their own spiritual processes, their own practices and variety of things. A lot of it has diminished or in decay because Till 1974 or 6, uh, somewhere around there, it was illegal to practice any of those religious practices. It's only in 1974 it became legal for them to practice. So they're trying to recover from that. I've been thinking of going to many of these reservations, which I've visited a few, but it's the pandemic which gave me the chance because otherwise my schedule never allows me to deviate from what I'm doing. I have the… from that moment I land in United States, the day I land, if I land in the morning, evening there will be a public event. The day I'm leaving, there will be a public event, I finish and go straight to the airport, this is how it is. 